I took part in a couple of these, so I'll kind of give my experience as well. But the first one is Newcastle Mini Medical School. I haven't done this one, but I know a couple of people who have, and they've all said it's amazing. So there was like um, a fake patient who had been, I think, stabbed or something, and you had to kind of like figure out what had happened. Um, and this one you get a guaranteed interview, which is pretty cool. Um, you do have to meet entry required entry requirements for this one i'll put them on the screen just because i don't want to like read them all out you also practice mock mmis and practice the ucat as well for a lot of them they give you practice with you know the ucat mmis bmap you practice doing like little examinations on each other using a stethoscope using different medical instruments and um yeah you meet you meet a bunch of people doing um that summer school like the girl I live with now, like literally my flatmate, I met her on Partners. So you make a bunch of friends from that summer school. And then there's probably the most popular one, which is Sutton Trust. This is super duper popular, so it's really competitive. To me, going on a summer school was one of the best things that I did for my medicine application. So I really wanted to make a video dedicating to giving you guys a massive long list of different summer schools for literally years 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hi guys, so I know the title of this video, video might be a bit confusing, but basically I wanted to just gather a long list of different summer schools, taster days, and just experiences that would kind of give you like a lower offer or a guaranteed interview. For almost all of them, you will have to meet certain criteria, but um, that's kind of the whole point of them. It's kind of like whining participation. So if you've come from like a low income background or your parents didn't go to uni, then this video is for you because it's pretty much just a bunch of different universities that want to help you get into medicine. I took part in a couple of these, so I'll kind of give my experience as well. But the first one is Newcastle Mini Medical School. I haven't done this one, but I know a couple of people who have, and they've all said it's amazing it goes over quite a few weeks I think it's like four weeks and it's kind of like you attend like an evening each week um normally like six till seven and you talk about medicine what it's like to be a doctor what it's like to study at medical school I think you have like talks from different specialists and stuff okay the next one is um this Cambridge shadowing scheme I applied to this but I didn't get onto it so um, you basically have to meet certain entry criteria and it's pretty much a chance for year 11 students to shadow a Cambridge student for three days so including a medical student but if you wanted to shadow a different course you could um, yeah, and it normally runs from January to February time. Um, also, with a lot of these, because of obviously the pandemic and stuff, I wrote this in 2020 um, before it had like happened. So um, some of them might be like online now, but obviously June 21st, fingers crossed, things are going to be like in person again. So. <laughs> But um, yeah, definitely keep an eye out and like keep up to date with the links and stuff. I'll put the links to everything in the description. And then the next one is is um, Southampton widening access to medicine residential. You do some activities in the Southampton Hospital. So this one isn't actually based on the university. Um, you do a bunch of clinical skills and other like medical things. So you can like practice being a doctor. You also have a couple of sessions on the UCAT, student finance, your uni application. And yeah, this is for year 12s. Then you've got the Sunderland Medicine Summer School and you have the opportunity to experience life as a medical student. Um, you do have to meet entry, required, entry requirements for this one. I'll put them on the screen just because I don't want to like read them all out. Um, and yeah, then uh, you also practice mock MMIs and practice the UCAT as well. For a lot of them, they give you practice with, you know, the UCAT, MMIs, BMAP. Um, and then there's Newcastle Partners, which I did do. I talked about this in my how I got into medical school video and um, I took part in partners this one's at the end of year 13 so you've done your A levels you've done everything you're right at the end so it's a bit of a weird time um, and pretty much yeah you just I'll talk about what it what happened so obviously I did it in 2019 when there was no pandemic so um when things go back to being normal what what will happen is you go to Newcastle they pay for your travel expenses and um, you live on campus and you go to lectures you go to anatomy sessions you go to clinical skills there's also like other courses so I was speaking to people who did maths I spoke to a girl who did law um, and like a bunch of other things you get they give you like food and stuff like you don't have to pay for that or anything and yeah in the evenings like you can even go to restaurants go bowling and um, yeah you meet you meet a bunch of people doing um that summer school like the girl i live with now like literally my flatmate i met her on partners so you make a bunch of friends from that summer school and um yeah i've stayed friends with a lot of people from partners now um and yeah you get a lower offer as well so instead of three a's 
I got my offer reduced to ABB. Um, but yeah, Partners was amazing. I recommend it to everyone. If you do meet the requirements, definitely look into applying because it's such a cool like taste of what uni is going to be like. Moving on, this is another summer school that I actually did do. This is called Lancaster Medicine Summer School and it's for year 12s who meet certain entry, entry requirements. Yeah, basically I did this one as well. So um, I remember I did a bunch of, so you go to Lancaster for a week, they pay for travel again and also um, I think it was four days. I don't think it was a full five day thing. I think it was just Monday to Thursday. And you do, it's a similar thing. You just experience life as a medical student at Lancaster. This one is only medical students. So I didn't see anyone else doing law, maths and other stuff. And yeah, you go to PBL sessions because Lancaster is PBL. And that was actually the summer school that taught me that I don't like PBL. Um, if, you, if you're not sure what, what type of medicine course would be right for you, I think summer schools are a great thing because you can actually like experience it and do it um, but yeah I realized PBL wasn't for me but I did really like um, the campus I thought that was really cool um, and yeah it was a good summer school I met a bunch of people then there's probably the most popular one which is Sutton Trust this is super duper popular so it's really competitive I applied to this but didn't get in and um, you can study medicine at a bunch of the universities I'll put a list of them on screen because there's quite a few Hull York, Nottingham, Newcastle's now um, uh, Newcastle is now like on the list There's also a Year 11 Imperial College London Medical School. So this one is in August and it's a four day learning experience to learn about what being a doctor is like. There's also a UCL Target Medicine Summer School. This one is, a, is one week. It's not a residential, so you do go home every day. It's for Year 11s based in London um, from non-selective state schools. So I think you can't go to a grammar school and you can't go to a private school and you have the chance to speak to medical students at UCL which is really cool and take part in clinical situations so you can see if medicine is something that you would enjoy or not so I think that's quite cool there's one in Liverpool three-day residential for year 12s and then there's the Leicester post-16 summer school then there's Kent Bright Ideas um, this is a summer school for year 12s. A lot of them are for year 12s. Um, and you learn about like a bunch of different stuff, admissions, what life is like as a medical student, as a doctor. Then there's Bright Med. So this is actually the one where year 9, 10, 11 and 12 can take part in, all the way up to year 13. Um, and this one you get a guaranteed interview, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you have a bunch of lectures and seminars and activity days. Um, and yeah, I put they've got an image on their website like to show you what you do in year 9, 10, 11 and 12. Then there's, this one's a taster day. So there's a couple of taster days that I wanted to mention. So there's an MAD day at Newcastle, which I did take part in. So I'll explain what this is about. It's, yeah, it's not a summer school. It's just like you go to Newcastle Medical School for a day. And I think in the morning we had like some clinical simulations. So there was like um, a fake patient who had been, I think, stabbed or something. And you had to kind of like figure out what had happened. Practice doing like little examinations on each other, using a stethoscope, using different medical instruments. And then in the afternoon, I think there was a Q&A session with some medical students. So we asked about the UCAT, what's it like to study there? Do you have spare time? Do you get to like have, you know, meet up with your friends and stuff? There was like a massive Q&A session where you had like all your questions answered. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, I'm so, so passionate about making sure that people know about the widening participation schemes out there because without widening participation, and without widening participation, I genuinely would not have got into medical school, I don't think. So I'm so, so glad I found out about them when I did. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.